الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد No doubt if you look at Islam and how Allah Azza wa Jal divided things in our lives you will notice that there are specific times that Allah specified for us that are better than others like Friday is better than the other days it's a blessed day and Ramadan is the best of the months it's the best of the months and it's a blessed month and within Ramadan which is all of it 30 days or 29 days or whatever it is it is a blessed month within that there is a blessed night and this blessed night Allah Azza wa Jal has specified it in the last 10 days of Ramadan and he also mentioned it in a surah a whole chapter in the Quran talking about this night which is Laylatul Qadr Allah Azza wa Jal mentioned in the Quran Laylatul Qadr khayrun min alf shahr the night of decree is better than a thousand months which is around 83 years or so now Allah Azza wa Jal that night Laylatul Qadr he has placed it within the last 10 days of Ramadan and the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told us in a hadith Man qama Laylatul Qadr imanan wa ihtisaban ghufira lahu ma taqaddama min dhanbi anybody who uh, prays the night prayer in Laylatul Qadr the night of the decree then uh, uh, for uh, praying for the sake of Allah and hoping for the reward of Allah, then Allah will forgive him. He will forgive your sins. Allahu Akbar. And these 10 nights, if you think about it, Allah could have told us exactly within these 10 nights, which one is Laylatul Qadr. But he did not, for a reason and a wisdom. He wanted us to focus on all these 10 nights. All these 10 nights. And this was the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He used to, when the 10 nights would start, the last 10 nights of Ramadan, he would intensify his acts of worship. And he would increase it. And he would increase in his prayer and in his charity. As a matter of fact, there's a specific sunnah for these 10 nights. He would stay in the masjid. We call it in Arabic, i'tikaf. Where the Prophet ﷺ would stay in the masjid and he would sleep there for the whole 10 nights. Why did he do that? Imagine with me, if you are in a race, when does the race count, count you as a participant, as a winner? At the beginning of the race or at the end of the race? It's at the end of the race. This is where the finish line is. Yeah, That's why the Prophet wasallam said that in a hadith. He said, الْأَعْمَالُ بِخَوَاتِيمِهَا That means the deeds or the good deeds are counted when at the end, at the end of... Of, of your good deeds and everything in life is like that if you go to school when when does it always count when you pass or fail it's at the end of the year uh, at work in corporate uh, you know in the corporate world there's always the 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 final or, or the end of the year objectives or rating for the employees and so is Ramadan and subhanallah you look at the people they're always very energetic at the beginning of Ramadan and then at the end of Ramadan they become lazy and you know everything decreases but it should be the opposite the sunnah is that you intensify at the end of Ramadan the last 10 days of Ramadan and as I mentioned why like I said first because it is the last 10 days and the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam wanted us and before that Allah wanted us to conclude Ramadan with the greatest amounts of acts of worship and the second thing is is that there is that blessed night of Laylatul Qadr and Aisha radiallahu anha asked the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. She said, Ya Rasulullah, O Messenger of Allah, what should I say in Laylatul Qadr? Which is of course within the 10 nights. He said, Aisha, say this following dua. Allahumma innaka afuun tuhibbu al-afwa fa'fu anna. O Allah, you are the pardoner. And you like to pardon. So pardon us. And he forgive our sins. And this is... Uh, a, a dua that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told us about. So we should stick to that dua. It's a sunnah. Now, within these 10 days, uh, what should we do? Like I said, very simple. Intensify recitation of the Quran, prayers, which is of course tahajjud, or we call it taraweeh. And after taraweeh, if you can pray, also increase that. Yeah? Dhikr, dua. Don't forget your dua. Uh, charity. And like I said, i'tikaf in the masajid, 
all these things combined together, they are they are what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam would do in these 10 days. Another thing, if you can afford it, go to Umrah. Umrah in the last 10 days has great, enormous amounts of rewards. These are all what counts for you. And subhanAllah, there are 10 nights. Yani some of the ulama, they said, if these, the virtues of these 10 nights would be, that's, that's all I have to do and, and uh, do and focus on, and that will fulfill all of my year's good deeds, they would say, this is enough for me. That's how great it was. Yeah? Dear Muslims, I don't want to tell you about the signs of the, the, the night of the decree, Laylatul Qadr. Because I've noticed that a lot of people, what do they do? They focus only, they want to witness the signs. Oh, it's this night, it's that night. Ya akhi, dear brothers and sisters, no need for that. You have 10 days, focus on them. I just tell you one thing. These 10 days, the Prophet ﷺ told us that they are the Laylatul Qadr, within these 10 days, are odd nights. Odd nights. So focus on these odd nights. Like I said, intensify your acts of worship. And inshallah, wallahi, you will leave and conclude this year's Ramadan with a lot of khair, with a lot of khair. I ask Allah Azza wa Jal to accept from all of us and to make us successful in these 10 nights of Ramadan.